What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about aerator pumps. Angle contacted me and wanted to know if I was interested in doing a review for a new aerator pump they just came out with. I said sure go ahead and send me out one and they did. Just got this in a few days ago. Haven't opened it yet. I have no idea what it looks like or how it performs but I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the aerator box that I'm using right now. It's just a bubble box. You can find them about anywhere and I'm really interested to see how this thing holds up. So let's go ahead open up this box and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's marine grade waterproof. Salt water resistant, that's pretty sweet. Don't do a lot of salt water fishing, but if you do, that's pretty awesome. And it's got the rechargeable lithium ion battery power, the USB charger. So that's cool, you don't have to worry about buying batteries or anything. This bad boy here, the bubble box, does take the D batteries, if I'm not mistaken. And I mean, they last about 48 hours, something like that. Depends, I guess, on how long you're running it. Lots of times I go crappie fishing really early in the morning, so I buy my minnows a day ahead of time, or I guess the evening before the morning. Does that make sense? Yeah, I buy it the night ahead of time just so I don't have to stop and get them. I like being the first one to the lake. I like launching before the sun comes up, and lots of times those bait shops aren't open that early, so I always have mine running overnight. Or, you know, if you're catfishing, you go out the day before to catch your bait, you wanna make sure your bait could stay alive. You need to have something that could last a while. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. So first thing I could tell is this is very, very light. It's gotta be that lithium ion battery. Doesn't have that much weight to it. It's got the little stone. It's pretty cool. They send you this little power adapter. Just plug the USB right in there, put in the wall and you're ready to charge up. And the one thing that's a little different is where you plug your hose into is on the bottom. A little interesting. Uh, the, the Ingle aerator has four different power settings. We're just going to put it on its max because I'm trying to do a little comparison here with the bubble box. The bubble box doesn't have any different speeds. It just has one. So, and I imagine the one it has is the best it has. So we're going to go ahead and just put the Ingle at its max uh, speed. And then we're just going to compare it to the bubble box and see how it works. And I'm just going to use the air stone that came with the Ingle aerator and we'll use the same air stone for both of them. I'll also use it here with the bubble box. So I'm gonna go ahead here and turn it on and we could just see how much air is getting pumped through there and how much it's aerating the water. So let's check it out. This is my first time you've seen it too. All right, so it seems to be performing just well. Um, it's pushing a good amount of air through there. So once again, this is the Ingle aerator pump and we're just, we have it on its max setting and I just wanna see how it looks. This is a bait bucket that I made here about a year ago. And that's what I keep most of my bait in, whether it's my uh, bluegill or my minnows. For the most part, I keep it here in this bait bucket. So that's All right, well now let's go ahead and give the bubble box a try. Let's see how this one performs. Another test I wanna do besides just seeing how well it pumps air into the water is how loud it is. 
This bubble box, although it works well, it is extremely loud. It sounds like I got a diesel truck running in my boat. And what I really like about the Ingle so far is this thing is really quiet. Uh, you could barely even tell it's on. So I want to put the mic up next to the Ingle while this is running and we could just hear how loud it is. And then I'm also going to stick my mic up right up against this guy here. So let's go ahead and try that really quick. All right, guys. So here's my microphone right here. I'm using a Rode Wireless Go and I'm going to stick my mic basically right here below it. I'm not going to put it on top just because I think it would pick up a whole bunch of vibrations. But this is how loud it is. I'll be quiet here so you guys can hear. All right, that should be long enough for you guys to hear. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead here and put the mic down and turn on the bubble box and just hear how loud it is. So let's go ahead here and turn it on. All right, guys, first things first is I'm gonna put the price tag up on the screen over each one of these aerators here so you guys could see what the price is and what these cost. Well, that was a pretty good side-by-side -side test. But really quick, guys, I was just making this video to do a quick little comparison of the two aerator pumps I have and what's the difference between both of them and what's my opinion on them. So the bubble box is a great price. Can't go wrong with it. The thing's a powerhouse to pump some serious air into your tank but it comes with a pretty steep price of just having to purchase D batteries over and over again. The biggest downfall for the bubble box for me is just how stinking loud that thing is. It sounds like a diesel truck is running in my boat when I'm fishing and I really just can't stand that. I really don't like that. Uh, with the Ingle, what I really like about it, number one is how quiet it is. I have no idea that that thing is even running. Now it does come with four different speeds, which I think is cool. Personally, I wouldn't use them. I would just have it maxed out. That's just me. Also, I really like that lithium ion battery. The aerator pump is just so light. When you have the bubble box on, you could feel you got like weight hanging off the side on that. Like you could feel you got that extra weight hanging on there. With the angle, it's so light, you have no idea it's even on there. And I like that you could just plug it into a USB. You're charged up, ready to go for the next 36 hours. I really like I don't have to buy more batteries for it. The one thing I do not care for with the angle, and I'll show you guys here really quick. So with the bubble box, you plug the hose in right up here up top. With the angle, it's on the bottom. It's, uh, it's not a make or break for me, but that's just kind of different. But I guess I would just rather it be up top. I don't know if that's some kind of patent thing or there's a reason why they couldn't do that. But besides that, they're both pretty solid aerator pumps and I'll just leave it up to you guys to choose which one you guys like and which one you guys think is better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, have a great time.